Okay, stage one of tiling is done. This is the, a company called Schluter. The product is called Ditra. And the idea is that this somewhat separates, it does two things, separates the tile and the substrate from the <clears throat> wood that's underneath it because the wood can move, the whole house can move. And the second thing it does is it waterproofs um, the wood from anything that happens in the shower or the bathtub. Or what, it waterproofs the entire floor. So that's done. It, honestly, it was uh, nerve wracking. I don't know why, but I was really anxious about starting this part of it. But uh, like everything else, you dive in and it seems to work out. So that's that. And then tomorrow, um, uh, I'll at least lay out the tiles and cut them. You probably can't see it, but that right there is a wet tile saw. Um, and I'm going to copy the approach that I took, um, or Anne took, I guess, really. It was her, her decision, probably, to, um, to, to use the tile as the um, border. So this stuff is 12 inches wide versus 24 inches long. The other stuff was six inches versus 18. So this I'll have to cut um, basically an entire box of these things in half up the middle uh, to achieve a six inch border. I would go smaller, but I think six inches is just, it's just easier to, to stick with that. So that's what I'll do. And um, that's tomorrow. Today, I gotta get the, the camper up and running. Basically, uh, discovered after the last rain that it started to smell like mold. So, um, I suspect I'm going to end up sleeping in the camper for at least a couple of weeks. Because, like, there's a lot of work to be done here. And I just don't know if I can get it done. And, and honestly, the stress of trying to get it done is becoming unhelpful. So in order to relieve stress, I'm just going to assume that I'm going to be sleeping in the camper. Um, but as I say, there's, there's a bit of mold in it. There's some kind of a leak. Um, and I checked it out yesterday. I looked at all of the grout lines and blah, blah, blah. And I, didn't, I actually didn't see anything wrong with the grout in a big way. But you see that big kind of gap here, a crack or something's gone off. They've repaired it. Um, but it's possible that that's where the stuff is coming in, the water's coming in, because the, I can, I know the wall right here by the door, it's soft, right up and down here. So I suspect that the water is coming in, well, at least from the grout at the front. But I'm, I suspect at this point that it's coming down that thing. So I'll, I'll probably have to rip out everything to find out where the problem is so that I can fix it. Um, hopefully that doesn't take too long. Um, I'm actually just going to pull the whole thing forward uh, because I can't get anything in this door. So I'm going to pull it forward far enough to to start throwing shit out and uh, getting the dehumidifier in there. And that's it. Bye for now.